At last count, there were more than 69,000 people experienced homelessness on the streets of L.A. County. The People Concern is one of the county's largest social services agencies working to end homelessness through housing, services, and advocacy, and empowering some of the most vulnerable among us to rebuild their lives. After all that bad news, let's talk about some hopeful news, because we need it. Uh, as the People Concern now marking its 60th anniversary, we are joined by two members of their board of directors, actor Greg Gurman and entrepreneur Stephanie Shepard. Thank you both for being with us. We appreciate it. Greg, I've seen you out in the field doing work on behalf of them. Um, of, of all the, the organizations you could be a part of, why this one? What specifically draws you to their work? Well, there's a lot of great social service agencies in Southern California, uh, but the people concerned stands out. One of the data points that's most striking to me is that uh, nationally, uh, six out of ten people who are put into permanent supportive housing stay there, but four out of ten end up back on the street. And the people concerned because of the really visionary model of uh, care uh, that uh, they practice, uh, we have about a 92 percent uh, rate of people staying in permanent supportive housing once they're there. So it's really a singular uh, incredible systems disrupting uh, agency uh, and we're we're really bent on not just managing the crisis this really unacceptable humanitarian crisis of almost 70,000 people uh, going to bed at night outside but solving it ending homelessness uh, in, in Los Angeles yeah we know how important those wraparound services are Steffi I want to ask you this very same question what draws you to the people concerned for you to throw your support uh, to them. Yeah, well, I echo what Greg says. He's exactly right. You know, the 92% rate of individuals that come through our agency never experience homelessness again. And I've been volunteering with the people concerned since 2015. And I have learned the ins and outs of their day to day and, and everything that they, you know, like you said, those wraparound services. And I know that this is really the blueprint to solve this crisis. I think they really have figured out what we can do here to get these people off the streets and into safe and permanent housing. And I think the more that you know, we can garner the support of the public and private equity and the government, uh, the sooner that we can you know, have everyone be housed safe and healthy. And Greg, can you explain for us as we look at some pictures of some of the volunteer work, um, what that blueprint actually is? What is different about the people concerned versus other organizations? Well, primarily it, it is uh, permanent supportive housing, housing first, where, you know, the, it sounds relatively simplistic that what's the solution to uh, people uh, sleeping out on the street, being unhoused? Well, it's housing, but it's not just housing, it's permanent supportive housing. And the people concerned for years has had that model of wraparound services. Uh, years ago, John Masseri, the executive director, who's really uh, visionary, um, did a, a TED talk and he held up his uh, smartphone and he said, you know, in the United States, we really don't have a health care uh, crisis because we really have no health care system. But he held up his smartphone and said, this is a system, uh, independent and interdependent applications that can operate separately, but also enhance one another. And that's exactly what the people concern has with all of its wraparound services and the many different programs from mental health, domestic, uh, domestic uh, violence uh, support, uh, drug and alcohol, uh, uh, support as well, and, and it's it's a it's a an all inclusive uh, system of services, and that's really what separates it from many of the other good organizations that are out there doing similar kinds of work. And real quickly, Stephanie, how can people help? Yeah, I mean, whether that be through donations or volunteering or spreading awareness, it's all vital ensuring that we can expand our reach and really strengthen our programs and provide this comprehensive. You know, assistance to those in need. So um, you can donate at thepeopleconcern.org slash donate. You can follow us on social media and Facebook and Instagram at People Concern. Yeah, all that information currently up on the screen, Stephanie, perfectly as you were just saying that. And of course, you can volunteer as well. Uh, people, the People Concern takes all the help that they can get. Uh, thank you, Stephanie, and thank you, Greg, for all that you do.